spoke, I heard a voice say, I'll tell you a tale of the most successful pirate that ever raised a sail. It wasn't Teach or Avery, wasn't Morgan or Lafitte. It was a poor widowed woman and her massive pirate fleet. She was the Rose, the Bloody Rose, the Bloody Rose of China. She was a pirate queen. With her massive pirate fleet, she go down in history as the girl that owned the China Sea. At a brothel down in Canton lived a 16-year-old boy who didn't mind the work but was looking for much more. When pirates invaded, burned that village to the ground. They all ran into the streets and watched it all burn down. Before the smoke had cleared, she had a brand new life. And a pirate captain named Zhang Yi had a brand new wife. Together they united all the warring pirate clans. And that was just a tiny part of her much larger plan. She was the Rose, the Bloody Rose, the Bloody Rose of China. She was a pirate queen. With her massive pirate fleet, she go down in history as the girl that owned the China Sea. And a few years later, when Zhang Yi's life was through, she clawed her way onto his throne and took his power too. She gathered and recruited every pirate she could find. And it all fell into place just as she had designed. Her fleet, it grew so massive that it put the rest to shame. The towns all paid protection, the vessels all fair game. She had 1,800 ships under her command. And with it, 80,000 pirates to carry out her plan. She was the Rose, the Bloody Rose, the Bloody Rose of China. She was a pirate queen. With her massive pirate fleet, she go down in history as the girl that owned the China Sea. Red flag fleet, it grew so large it could not be ignored. And no one would betray her, no matter the reward. The Portuguese sent their navy, the British sent their fleet. And each of them were sent back home, humbled by defeat. Qing Dynasty sent assassins and envoys to start docks. The one thing they had in common, they came home in a box. The government did realize this was one they couldn't win. So they came up with a clever plan to bring this to an end. She was the Rose, the Bloody Rose, the Bloody Rose of China. She was a pirate queen. With her massive pirate fleet, she go down in history as the girl that owned the China Sea. They offered her full pardon if she agreed to leave the sea. She would keep her plunder and her men would all go free. With amnesty granted, a great pirate walked away. And a wealthy, clever businesswoman walked on shore that day. And it's all true, I swear There's a gambling house in Canton And I'll bet that she's still there And with that he faded into that thin smoky haze
days While legends of that pirate queen will never fade away